Analog forecasting is a method that involves taking current weather patterns and looking for similar ones in the past in order to predict the future. When it comes to long range forecasts, such as trying to make a winter prediction, this may be a useful tool. Well, this year was the seventh wettest summer on record for Concord, and it was the seventh warmest summer. For this, we'll just focus on temperature. So could a warm summer signify anything for the upcoming winter season? Well, to use analog forecasting, let's start by looking back at some other top 10 warmest summers in the past 100 years. 2020, 2018, 2016, 2005, and 1949 are all on that list. So what did the following winters look like? Well, looking at temperatures, those following winters were pretty split between being colder and warmer than normal. So there isn't really a strong enough correlation there to say there is a definite pattern. However, when we look at snowfall totals for those winters, almost all of them had snowfall amounts below average for that season. So could warm summers mean less snow for the winter ahead? Possibly, but summer is still several months away from winter. Let's try looking at something a little closer, like the month of October. Well, this October was also one of the top 10 warmest. Do previous warm Octobers in the past 100 years show any potential correlation with the winters that followed? Surprisingly, yes. For those years, all of the following winters had below average temperatures, and all of those winters also had above normal snowfall. Pretty interesting. But with both a warm summer and a warm October this year, the outcome's kind of conflicting based on what we found here. One could mean less snow, while the other could mean more. Because October is closer to winter, it makes sense that that trend could be the stronger, more consistent one to follow. So with a warm October this year, could we be in for a cold and snowy winter? Possibly, but this is just one potential way of trying to produce a long-range forecast. From the Stormwatch 9 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Thomas. Very interesting. interesting. Yeah. So warm October translates to a cold and snowy winter. All those warm Octobers translate to a chillier than normal November, which also translate to colder and snowier okay. winters. But our uh, November so far has not is been... We are right on average at the moment okay. with right. two weeks to go. We are watching this closely because <laughs> that is the indicator. 